Hello everyone. It's been a good long while since I have done any kind of a vlog. Because uh, I keep feeling like, oh, I want to wait until the, like, the apartment is fully furnished and shit. Uh, before, I, before I do that. But turns out getting the apartment fully finished is going to be a long, 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 truly, genuinely, so very long process. So instead, welcome to the garden. Or to the patio, whatever you want to call this. This is a little... Um, Terrace, I guess. Uh, it's on a second floor. Like, this is not it's not earth down there. It's it's building. Um, that we have. Which, as you can see, has these lovely plant boxes in them. Like, just lovely, absolutely wonderful. In great condition. Um, fantastic. Like, just very well kept. I'm like, reasonably sure they haven't been changed in 30 years. Because they are rotten. Like, I can pull them apart with my hands. Kinds of rotten. <laughs> Uh, they were here when we moved in, because this apartment was not refurnished um, when we got it. And they are ugly, and they've been, like, all, it's just weeds all over the thing, overgrown, really broken down. And there's these, like, there's these grates down here that are supposed to drain rainwater, but they are also just full of moss and plants and shit. So, fixing that shit up uh, is one of the major projects. And fortunately, the uh, landlord... Uh, which is which is like a, a common use housing thing run by the uh, by the county. They do provide fresh new boxes for you, but you have to put them in yourself. So several days have been spent like grabbing all the dirt out of the old boxes, pouring it into new boxes. This one is a reserve box that's just over there, tearing the old ones apart. And my God, do they need tearing apart? And filling dirt and cleaning things up. And it's slow going, uh, especially since it's been very rainy lately, but progress is being made. So this plant right here, well, first of all, this motherfucker, this, you see, you see, uh, let me be very careful. This is a rose bush, which against all fucking odds managed to grow down here with, with no one taking any good goddamn care of it. It was over here and it had grown its dumb ass out of that thing there and sprouted like branches and leaves and flowers like very pretty uh, but none of which we could see because it was all way the fuck out there and it was deep down in that fucking earth so we, ha we first had to dig up the root and like cut pieces of it off the eyes that thing there like try and maneuver and wiggle it out of the thing and like cut it and then grab it before it fell down to the neighbors like to the to the downstairs terrace and pull it in over and it's like and for my troubles i got a little kiss from a rose now i know what seal was talking about hurt like a motherfucker that thing stung me deep i really fucking hope i don't get an infection anyway that and then there's this bush right here um which was in that box over there and had its roots had and you can see that they had grown all the way in to the box that was there and had rooted themselves inside the wood uh, so getting that thing out was a war and a half as well. But progress is being made. And I think it's going to look nice when the new boxes are in. And like we put little, uh, uh, we put like some, some, I don't know what the hell they're called in English. These things, uh, which is like little rocks that you put in the bottom of the tray. And then you put some felt on top of it. And that'll sort of let the water dra drainage rock kind of things. Uh, and then, I don't know what we're going to plant down here. Maybe nothing. Uh, maybe grass. Maybe we'll just have grass. I don't know. Uh, like clover, something like that. We'll plant something. Maybe some, I don't know, carrots, potatoes. Oh, hello, little pigeon. Um, something like that. But mostly just that there will be new boxes that are not falling apart at the seams. And that will be lovely. One hitch, though. These boxes right here, the old ones, they are narrower than the new boxes, which means we have not been able to just like empty out one box and destroy it and put in a new box and then empty. No, because like when we emptied that box out, there wasn't room for that one to be in there because the other box was like way too close. So we had to empty the, the box that was here into that one. And then we had to take that apart. And then I had to take that one, sort of slide it in sideways and fill all the, all the dirt from the box that was here into that. And then destroy that box, because there's, you can't remove them, you have to destroy them. 
And then I had to like, like 200, like 500 pounds of earth or how many, what the fuck much was in there. Had to like slide it into place. And then, you know, obviously so on and so on. But the good thing about these boxes being bigger than the old ones is that they can contain more than one box worth of dirt, which means slowly over time, it becomes easy and easy to get rid of the old dirt and the old boxes and get room for the new ones and move on and put stuff down there. And it also means we'll be able to put some distance between the boxes like this, right? Because the old boxes were just like squeezed up against each other completely. I had no airflow between them whatsoever. And that's part of the reason why they've been rotting is because they, because the, the wood between the boxes just gets saturated with water that has nowhere to go. And so it starts rotting. So yeah. Got a batch of fresh boxes waiting over here to be put to use. Which means also we need to get rid of all the old boxes, which means we need to grab all this fucking wood with rusty nails and shit in it and carry it down the stairs and out the thing and do the thing and get it to the skip. And it's like, ah, a lot of work. But it's also satisfying. I have never had a garden in my life. Uh, well, I mean, when I was a kid, when I lived in a house with my parents. But I've never had a garden of my own to work with. And I, I am surprisingly kind of fond of it, of, of working with earth and stuff. Ow, goddamn, this still stings. I really hope this is not infected. Um, that's been quite lovely, actually. I'm, I've been quite pleased to have dirt and earth. And my mom is crazy about it. Like, she, she lives in, 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 in the city, and she's never, she doesn't have anything more than balcony. She loves gardening. Like, she used to garden so much when we, had, when we lived in a house. So she's been out here as well, just enjoying doing gardening also because that lets her feel like she's helping her kid um because like she she's not an empty nester but she definitely has a thing of like she 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 misses helping out her children because we've all grown up you know um and helping us garden has been that's been really lovely like she, she really loves doing that she gets a lot of satisfaction out of it another lovely thing look there are friends here yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. I, I removed all the nice foliage and stuff in the boxes. And now you, you're you all confused. We tried to save as many snails as we found. Um, and bugs and stuff. Uh, we try not to kill them. Hey there. Have you found anything to eat? How you doing? Look at you with your gorgeous shell. They do seem very confused. <laughs> You're so pretty. Hey, friend. How are you? This guy right here has not emerged yet. I don't know if, if it's alive or not. Some of them might be dead, dead shells. This guy here, too. Not really a guy or girl. I mean, well, snails are weird with sex and gender. because Well, gender. They don't have gender, but they do have sexes. But they have, like, five of them, some, some species. Which is weird. Remember to bring your shell when you're going. Your shell has to come with you. I don't know. Maybe they're just feeding. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Oh yeah, we are feeding. Just seems to be eating some dirt. <laughs> it's nice to be able to eat dirt. I've got a casserole. Is that is that what you would call it? Like a a, a thing you make in a in a pot, um, like uh, some some beef, like uh, diced beef in a red wine sauce with uh, spring onions and. Champignon, uh, mushrooms, I guess you just call them. Spring onions and mushrooms and bacon, which is just going to be boiling on the stove for like another 45 minutes. And then I'll have had like two hours of just, of just boiling and like reducing and all. Um, and I'm really excited to see how that turns out. I hope it turns out well. How are you there, my friend? Can I can come in for a close-up? Man, my phone's camera is really good at this. How you doing? You are so weird, and yet somehow so fucking adorable. It's magical. Yep, just just eating some dirt. Just chomping on that dirt. 
that's the other lovely thing about I don't know if you can hear that on the microphone but the other lovely thing about living here there are so many birds like we've got crows we've got what are they called the ones that like to steal things that are sparkly also corvids can't remember we've got like sparrows and little uh robins and like every kind of small bird lives in the in the trees around like i don't want to show you too much of the skyline or nothing but like there's just trees and green everywhere and there's so many birds and there are rabbits and there are squirrels um which sometimes th these fucking squirrels man they have no no fear whatsoever they come like if we leave the the porch door open they'll come in like they'll just they'll just walk in and go hey guy you got any food <laughs> Uh, like, like while we're sitting on the couch, they'll just come walking past and be like, any food scraps? And the birds too, they do, they do that. Like when we leave the windows open, I think it's because the previous, whoever lived here before, I think they fed the birds through the window. So now the birds have learned that at the window you can come and there's food. And so they'll come to our window when it's open and they'll just fly into the apartment and like flap around, <laughs> um, like into our kitchen. And I assume again... It's probably that they're looking for food scraps. Like, they, they've probably learned that if no one's there and the window's open, you can go to the kitchen and, like, maybe there'll be breadcrumbs and shit around. But, like, no fear. Like, none. None whatsoever. No fear of any kind. <laughs> Which has been... It's been, like, it's been annoying to have these fucking birds... Like, we don't want them shitting on the floor. Um, but it's also been very cool to have that. So, yeah. The new place is going well. Um... I'm enjoying living here a lot. It's 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 a good place. It's got snails. <laughs> uh, but since we're here, trying to catch myself in the reflection, there's my new bed. Welcome to the bedroom. It's, as you can see, like nothing on the walls. It's a bit bare um, so far, but I've got a lovely carpet. I've got a chair. I've got my bed. Which is like, it's got controls and stuff, so you can like raise the head and you can like raise the legs and you can like a really comfortable sitting position to like read or, or watch TV and shit. Uh, and I need posters on the walls. I want some shelves in here as well to put stuff in, books and things, but no, yeah, I'm, I am, I'm really happy in this new place and not to get all YouTuber sappy on ya. It is genuinely because of this job. Like, because of Patreon, because of, of the people who watch my stuff and, rec and like, share it and recommend it and stuff. Um, that's the reason I get to do this. Gardening. Now, that's the reason I get to have a bedroom, where which is not my office. It's the reason why I get to live in a nice apartment where there are birds everywhere and asshole squirrels that try to steal food. That's because I, like, stumbled ass overhead into an extremely lucky, 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 lucky career doing what I do. And I try not to do too much of the weeping YouTuber thanks his audience in order to get more Patreon subscriptions thing. But, like, genuinely, this is, um, I, I can't believe I'm this lucky. I really can't. So, you know, thank you for helping. I think he wants to go. 